If you've been following Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, you might know the court case is over, but the fandom keeps on going at it and doing these things on social media and having little skirmishes, you could say. This person here got it back pretty bad for saying something about Johnny that I think is completely incorrect and unnecessary. Now, I gotta say, I don't totally agree with the way this was handled, but I understand, and the response is, by the Johnny fans were logical, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So here's the person who says this about Johnny. Still an ugly, drug addicted, herpes infested, nasty, ugly rat. No really, really heavy curses in there, so I guess I'm cool saying that stuff on YouTube, but put it all together and it's pretty bad and obviously untrue. I mean, the picture right there that's featured, Johnny looks pretty good. Now, let's see what the fandom said to this person. Well, here we've got the meme of this movie called Mask, which is from the 80s, about a true story where a guy was born, unfortunately, looking like this, and they compare the two. Not very nice. But I gotta say, if you're gonna take a jab at Johnny's looks, it's best that you're at least a good-looking person yourself so you don't get responses like this. And then stuff like this came up. I can't recall where this is from. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, Chris Elliott in some movie. Again, not very nice because he's talking about Johnny's looks, which is not personal because Johnny Depp isn't seeing this, but this guy is seeing this. However, how are people supposed to respond? And we got another one with Chris Elliott. This person up here says, act your age, not your forehead size, just saying. Dr. Stevie says, imagine saying that when you look like the butler from Scary Movie 2. Ah, uh, hon, I'm sorry you feel that way about yourself. It'll be okay. Projecting much? Once again, Chris Elliott from Scary Movie 2. And Mara here plays the middle, I guess you could say. You know, as long as I've followed this entire case closely, and regardless what I think of Amber, I've never said shit like this about her. Just because I didn't agree with her actions, along with an entire jury, doesn't mean I have to attack her appearance, etc. I don't get it. Well, the thread's actually not about Amber and her appearance. There was one thing about Amber up there. But as far as the full spectrum, it's not about her. But okay. My personal thing on this channel, after thousands of videos, is the occasional joke's okay. But it shouldn't be a daily thing. It shouldn't be your only thing. Once in a blue moon, okay. Everyone tells jokes. And by the way, looks like... Amber Heard is a liar, and I Stand With Johnny Depp is trending right now, along with Camille. So, this stuff is still going to be trending for a while. Surprisingly, I guess. Looking like that, you literally have no room to talk about looks, the nerve. And, I agree with Callie. Obviously, he shouldn't have said that. But, people didn't have to go so far out on a limb as to compare him to Chris Elliott and stuff like that. Corey says, they eating you alive in these comments. Yeah. And Mario says, clearly wants nothing but attention and willing to be as nasty as he has to, to get it. Boring. You invalidate your hateful self. Stop looking in the mirror then. Problem solved, babes. I see projection. Yeah, that's what it is. And we got another comparison here from the Police Academy movies. Okay, haven't seen those in 25 years or more, but okay. He won. Stay mad. I think that says it all. And the comments go down and 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 down. Okay, maybe that's it. Wait. No, there's still more. And they go down and down. So there you go. Do you guys think this person here got what was coming or the Johnny crowd went too far? I'm covering social media, stuff like that. Depth vs. Heard, celebrity news. If you subscribe here, you'll sometimes get a host with a slight lisp. But usually at the end, I have a lisp, but it's not that bad, and I'm very honest. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.